Why did you get a bird for this store? Well, um, there has been a tradition of having animals in this store since um, at least the 1920s. At one point we had monkeys. Monkey. And when I was growing up, we had a parrot in the store, a, a green parrot. And that, that bird died. And um, there was a, a lapse in between when we didn't have a bird. But I just one day kind of got the... Uh, <laughs> The, just thought it would be a good idea to get people like Patty Spittler into the store talking about us. <laughs> and it worked. After and it worked. Years. It works. Now, I see your wife, Stephanie, is, is the bird lover, the bird holder here. When she's in the store, he doesn't want to see anybody else, right? Right. He, he, I used, he used to be my bird, but um, she has the... Uh, pet charisma that I lack. <laughs> so it's now Stephanie's bird. Not the bird man, but the bird woman. Right. I love it. Um, how, and you got him when he was not a when chick? He was not a chick, but he was very, he was young. He was less than a year old. Okay. And how did the people react? How do customers react? Well, how do they react now or how did they react when we first got him? When, now and then. Both. Well, okay, now people love him. Back then, people thought it was the craziest thing they'd ever seen, and he was a lot noisier then, and oh. we got complaints, and um, oh. yeah, but I, so we stuck it out, and now he is a, a fixture, and he's beloved on Massachusetts Avenue. Okay. He's a, yes. Now, he's a mascot. He stays here all day, all night? All day, all night, um, 365 days a year. And how does he sleep at night? Well, <laughs> I'm sleeper. The oldest shoe store, not in Indianapolis, not in Indiana, but in the whole country. Well, this is the oldest shoe store in the United States. Um, it's, it, what's unique about it is that it's been continually operated as a shoe store since 1886 in the same location. And the same family? And same family, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Have you been around birds before? Just this one. Wow, I mean, because they, he's pretty, that's a pretty formidable beak, but you're, you don't seem afraid, and he loves you. He does. <gasps> oh, <laughs> not me, not the microphone, but he loves Stephanie. Thank you, Ripley. Thank you.